So we're here at the New Zealand Managed Isolation Quarantine Facility. What does this have to do with product research? Nothing. Um, I just wanted to let you know. Now nah, I'm just kidding. It has everything to do with product research because in my opinion, product research is all about perspective. I've been lucky enough to have many, 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 many different perspectives in many different environments. And um, I just wanted to share that with you. So in today's video, we're gonna be looking at five tools for product research with a little bit of my own perspective. Roll the intro card. Product research works best when you have a nice criteria or a metric that you can sort of place your product against as a checklist and see if you should actually sell it. That way you can save yourself money and time before you just throw your product out there, start running paid ads and lose a bit of money and time. Because you don't really wanna make a product page, a Shopify store, an entire brand around a product that you can't actually sell. So if you check out this video that I made last week, you can see my metric and lots of different tips and tricks on how to sell a product and how to find a product because we also have five different tools in that video as well that are different to the tools in this video. So the first tool we're gonna to be using today is eSniper. So you can have a look at winning products, you can have a look at Facebook ads, and you can even look at Instagram influencers as well. They also have a bit of a shop situation going on, but I'll show you exactly what's going on there because it didn't really work out so well for me, but maybe it can work out for you. So let's get started. So the main page holds Ali Sniper. You can browse through the categories. There's a bit of performance analytics. You can take these to Ali or go to Facebook and have an understanding of which brands are selling the product. You can see the creatives and the copy. Ali Sniper itself is gonna tell you about the orders. It will also show you the shipping methods. The pros of Ali Sniper is it has a nice amount of filters. Choosing the countries is gonna help you with shipping methods, obviously with the speed. So try and get e-packet at a minimum. And if you're scaling, you wanna work with private suppliers anyway. What's scaling? Well, you should have a look at this video right here that I made on scaling. So this is Viral Sniper. It's kind of similar to Ecom Hunt that we had a look at last week. Nothing too crazy on here. And when I say crazy, I just mean different. This is all quite standard. Then we can have a look at Ali Sniper. This is specifically AliExpress products. So great for a beginner when you're working through that method of finding products on AliExpress and incorporating them into your Shopify store. So yeah, we can have a look at, you know, things like how much it costs. Probably pretty useful, but they definitely give you if it's ePacket or not. There's also plugins that you can use, which are free, like Dropified, to have a look at if it has ePacket and the shipping times when you're actually on AliExpress. And we'll just show you that quickly. So if I type in, okay, so none of these have ePacket. You can see from my Dropified plugin, but that's basically the ePacket there. Just before you drop some money on eSniper, just be wary that the features here, some of them are free. So always good to get a well-rounded perspective before you buy any of these tools. But yeah, as you can see, very similar to, the, to lots of the tools we've used where it's gonna give you a bit of an engagement metric, what the orders are, and a review as well. Let's just jump into Digital Fingertip Pulse Oximeter. So yeah, 13,000 orders. And as well, it's just useful how many people have added it to a wish list, which is gonna give you sort of a projected ability of selling. You know, this is showing you that it is a saturated product to some extent, it's quite a lot of orders there, but there's also people who are willing to put some money into this as well. So that's like a really important thing to understand. You can get worried, you can go, oh, there's no way I'm gonna you know, sell this, but um, you actually might, because it's three to one right there, total orders being 13,000, added to wish list being 36. So you could potentially get some sales. Disclaimer though, I'm not the expert. I would definitely just give things a go. Buying stuff off AliExpress can be very temperamental. For example, there's a cup that I'm selling on Fern City right now and two months to arrive in Canada and about three weeks in the USA. So it wasn't too bad in the USA. Really nice cup actually made out of straw plastic. So it biodegrades. But yeah, shipping times are just so slow. So whenever you're looking on these product pages, you have to understand that it might look great. Wow, there's 13,000 orders and wow, you know. 36,000 people have added it to the wish list, but man, if it takes two months to, for it to arrive at your customer's house, that's not gonna be a very good review, is it? Scroll 
scroll down the bottom, you can see what the top countries are who are buying this product. Russia is going hard right now on the blood oxygen saturation meter monitor supportable. So apologies uh, for the terrible Russian accent there, but you get the idea. If we move on from Ali Sniper, you get Shop Sniper. So Shop Sniper is really cool if you want to get a general understanding of what shops are doing. But I found it was pretty limited when I wanted to look at my actual competitors. For example, I'll show you right now. I type in eco-friendly and it says 1600 results. Oh yeah, this is what happened this morning. No results. So sustainable. Also zero results. So I was a bit disappointed there when I was like my niche isn't actually listed at all. And this was the same in top stores, Store Sniper and Insta Sniper. And I was like, existential crisis, is my niche fake? No, no, it's not, it's huge. Um, the eco-friendly, the plastic free niche is massive, zero waste, but can't see anything on here. So that was interesting. The other problem while I'm grilling eSniper is the Store Sniper. Uh, it doesn't work too well. I tried to put my Shopify store in and um, it didn't come up. And I was like, existential crisis, is my store fake? No, it works pretty well. Look, there it is, cheeky upgrade. Fern City, oh, it's actually working now. I apologize, I take it all back. I'm so sorry, <laughs> I really messed up. Fern City is there, it's telling me that it's 65 days old. They don't know what theme I'm using. Debutify, sorry. Yes, here are the apps. Oh, this is actually pretty cool. So sweet. Okay, they've re just redeemed themselves. So if you wanna have a look at your own store or maybe your competitor's stores, that's probably what it's used for, is uh, you can have a look at what apps they're using. I've always recommended Commerce Inspector for this because it's free, but if you wanna take things up a notch, you can use eSniper. But you should always know what kind of free tools are out there when you're looking at these paid tools because if, if you're kind of buying into this idea that like, wow, I can only use eSniper and I have to pay them to find a store, that's not true. You can jump on Commerce Inspector and just type in any store and it works fine. That being said, it's pretty cool. So let's move on to the Insta Sniper. I had uh, the same issue here, plastic free, zero results. But yeah, let's try something a bit more generic, shall we? Because I'm gonna beat a dead horse there. Yoga. Okay, I was surprised. Only one result for yoga on Instagram. That's surely just incorrect. I mean, it's definitely incorrect. Well. If I type in yoga here, I've got lots of people. And look, there's somebody doing yoga right here. So yeah, keen to hear what the situation in there is, eSniper. Maybe let's try something a little different. Bicycles. Zero results for bikes. So that's a bit strange because I'm a bicycle influencer. Yeah, check it. No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm just kidding. I mean, I, I know heaps of bicycle influencers because I have a bike packing course. And so there's many, many, many people out there who, who are bicycle influencers. So I don't really know what's going on. Again, it's like you pay for the tool, but you can actually use things like Cloud HQ, which is free. Yoga. Let's just have a little cross comparison here. Okay, so as you can see, we've got 199 results on Cloud HQ for yoga. Bit of a no brainer there. Okay, they're saying that they're gonna improve Instagram's sorting and filtering abilities. And yeah, they've only got 43 results in total. So I guess that's kind of the issue. Maybe a comeback in a month and it's better. So on eSniper, you're gonna get a lot of branded stores, but what I would recommend you do is go in and have a look at these branded stores and just get inspiration for your niche. As we saw, it doesn't really work for my niche right now, but maybe in the future it will. And I hope that it works for your niche. A little tip that I have for product research is set yourself a timer. Put a 90 minute timer on and just browse. Otherwise you can kind of get carried away on a big old rabbit hole, especially when you're looking at five tools like I am. I've been refining how these tools work for a few days before I record this, and you can spend a lot of hours in the browsing state. So I'd recommend just setting a timer for 90 minutes and busting it out. If you can't find a product in 90 minutes, don't stress, don't worry about it. Just come back tomorrow and try again. There is no rush when it comes to products. Another thing to consider when you're looking for products is, is this gonna damage somebody's health? This might be like common sense, obvious talk, but products have harmful plastics in them. Products are bad for air quality and sometimes they just break. So 
Is your product going to enrich somebody's life and make them want to return to your store and buy another one of your products or buy the same product again? Or are they going to just look at it and say, oh, it's just cheap rubbish. I'm not going to get that again. Simple, obvious question, I know, but you really do need to consider when you look at these product tools, it's just crazy. Like some of the stuff that's being sold. I saw this, like this thing, delicate facial thin face mask slimming bandage care. Like it's squashing your face. Like that just intuitively looks dangerous to me. And they're claiming that you're gonna like change the bone structure of your face by wearing this. I mean, if that's possible, <laughs> which I don't think it is, they're gonna be crushing your bones. So you probably don't wanna sell stuff like that. Like I'm sorry to whoever made that, but that's crazy. So always just have a watchful eye and think about your customers. You don't wanna make them unhappy and you don't wanna hurt them in any way. You wanna enrich their lives. So try and find a product that does that. Okay, let's move on, which is sell the trend. So lots of different tools within this tool, actually. That's probably the main selling point, the bonus feature of Sell the Trend is that it combines an awful lot of programs into one paid package, which is really useful. I haven't really done the math on it, but as we go through, I'll definitely be comparing it to the programs that I use, the really advanced programs that you have to pay for compared to this all-inclusive package. There's obviously benefits to specializing, but as a beginner, and there's lots of beginners here, you might as well use an all-inclusive package like this. So let's have a look at the first tool within the tool of Sell the Trend, and that is called the Nexus. This is basically an algorithm that catches keywords that are trending so that you can see what's performing in terms of keywords, which you could translate into products. That's something that Google Trends does really well, but they've just incorporated it right here into their package. Then they have Dropship Explorer. This is essentially just a big database of products and stores that you can siphon through and see what other people are doing in your niche or even outside of your niche. And basically the whole deal with product research is studying. You have to look at other people's stores, look at other people's ads and look at the products and see how people are doing everything because you have to learn from the best. Then they have an Instagram and Twitter engagement calculator. This I really like because there's so many of these tools around. I've used a few of them. There's actually a video I made entirely about this whole um, idea here. But a lot of these tools are quite buggy and slow. The tool that we discuss in this video, Cloud HQ, is great, but it is a little bit slow. So if you're going to be doing influencer marketing, which I highly recommend, it's an excellent um, sales channel for your products you should use Sell the Trends, Instagram and Twitter engagement calculator. It's essentially just going to show you which influencers are performing well. Now, how do you quantify performance? It's just how many people are commenting, how many people are liking these posts. That's the engagement quantity, right? So you could be giving it to somebody who's got a million followers, but their followers don't really engage with the account. They don't comment on the posts. They don't really like the posts. There are accounts like that out there where they only get 10,000 likes, which is a very small engagement ratio compared to the million followers. So you can use Sell the Trends engagement calculator to figure out who you want to work with, who you want to establish a proper influencer relationship with. Then they have a Facebook audience builder. So Sell the Trend have an audience builder to show you exactly what types of interests would be good for this product. So you can just input your product, see what kinds of interests would be good. Okay, they also have a video creator. This, this is really cool. I personally am paying like 45 pounds a month to Adobe Creative Cloud. And this is a free part of their whole package. You don't have to pay anything extra. And it's not a comprehensive video editor. Like they made Star Wars on the program that I'm using, but this is really good for a beginner dropshipper because you don't need to make Star Wars. You just need to make a simple video creative. So I would go right in there and use it. Not only can you do simple cuts for product videos or your brand testimonials, but you can also put graphics on it. So, you know, text outlining exactly what is being said. You could use it for captions to say what's being said, or you could put up titles. I mean, really, you can do a lot with text. I don't need to explain that, but I think this is an excellent addition to sell the trend. Then this list is enormous, I know, sorry, but we're getting there. This is just packed full of features, so I'm just dropping you the knowledge. They have an Amazon Trend Explorer. Now, I actually made a video on the Viral Launch, which is a Amazon Trend Explorer. That's a paid tool, though. You have to pay monthly for it. This is included in Sell the Trend, so it's it's just an extra, and it's going to help you build your business. Basically, all of this tool does is it shows you 
what is happening with a product on Amazon, what its monthly sales are, where they're sourcing the product from. It's actually so in depth and really useful. It's kind of built for people who are selling on Amazon, but what I like to do is just use it as a product research tool to see how the product is performing. And then you can just do the classic move of taking the product from Amazon, going onto AliExpress, finding the product, moving it into DS's, moving it into Shopify. I would highly recommend watching the viral launch video because we really explained that whole process that I just sort of word vomited out in depth. So go check that out if you have 20 minutes. Otherwise, let's move on to the next tool. They have an AliExpress Trend Explorer as well, which is just gonna chart the progress of orders on AliExpress products. Really simple, um, but useful. They also have a Facebook Ad Explorer where you can see high engagement and high metric ads. Basically, there's lots of programs like Drop a Spy, Drop Point that showcase all of these winning ads, these high performing ads. There's just a simple algorithm that grabs all of them and puts them onto the website, but it's right here on Sell the Trend as well. You have to pay for those apps. They give you a few free products a day, but you pretty much just have to upgrade to get a full list. So this is included right here in Sell the Trend. It's really another great selling point for the whole app. And then after you've done all of that jazz, you have a one click ad to store. This is very much like DS's where you hit that push to Shopify button. Once you've found a product, you do the same right here. After you've collected all of this a mass of data, you can edit your product, edit the variants and send it away to Shopify. Alas, let's move on to Jungle Scout. This is a pretty high bar for entry. I just paid $50 for one month of this. We will see how it goes, but yeah, that's a pretty high bar for entry. So I was very interested to see what it had to offer. So I've paid for it. You guys don't have to. Pat me on the back if you like. You're loyal. You're grateful. I appreciate that. I'm probably going to get a 14 day refund because so far I'm not that impressed. I mean, kudos. I haven't built a bloody app like this, but it's very similar to viral launch and that's way cheaper. So that was kind of my complaint. I was like, there's another product out there that's undercutting this. And with the free, with the basic plan that I got, which is still 50 bucks, a lot of these features are actually blocked. So if I try and use the keywords, asking me to upgrade, if I try and use the email campaigns, upgrade analytics, you get the picture. Manage products, yep. And the academy? Oh, nope. they have to upgrade for that as well. This just isn't working out. I, I think you're great, but uh, it's not you, it's me. It's what, it's what I'm going through. So what do you get? You get a product database, basically, and you can input any product on Amazon and have a look at exactly the metrics of performance. I've already talked about this in the viral launch product research video. So that video is gonna give you a really in-depth breakdown as to how this works. I've probably referenced that video like three times already. You should go watch it, it's actually genius. Kudos to them, they've got a great app. And so to Jungle Scout, it's a pretty interesting thing. And I, I was kind of blown away when I saw my main competitor, I put in their, it's called an ASIN, I, an A-S-I-N number. And you can have a look at how they're doing. So if we have a look here, one product from Bees Rap Vermont. They're doing 93 sales a day and they're getting $1,600 a day, 50 grand a month, just on this one product. And I was like, wow, this is very interesting to me. And it made me go on a bit of a deep dive into how they're marketing this. They actually just have a wonderful video, which you can go watch yourself. Just go look at Bees Rap on Amazon. But yeah, I think that was one benefit of this tool was just being inspired to see just how much the competitors are doing. And then I can go in and be like, okay, what do I need to change? How do I develop and how do I grow? If you follow through onto the Amazon page, now that you've signed up for Jungle Scout, you're gonna get this little dashboard here showing you monthly daily sales and a price rank all over Amazon. So you can see that they, they're doing a few sales. Their ranking has grown since they've had a bit of a peak last year and then they've managed to gain a bit of traction into now. And then you can actually look at their gross margins. So it's $12.80 and they have a $5 for fees on the product, which is pretty cool. So there are 121 in food container sets. I'm sure that will grow. They're such an awesome brand. But yeah, I don't really need to give my competitors too much kudos. They know they're doing well. But that is kind of what you would do 
if you wanted to use Jungle Scout, you just go in here, really analyze what other people are doing. You need to understand that you can't figure all of this out by yourself. You need a bit of help. So that's why there's these apps. I'm sorry, I can't really show you much more on here because it's blocked. So that was a bit of a shame, really. I'd love to show you a bit more about Jungle Scout, but the plan I'm on isn't really going to allow me to do that. And the next tool for today is Drop Point. Drop Point is essentially a Facebook ad crawler where a crawler is essentially just moving through websites and understanding what is on the websites. It also tracks how the website performs, like the page speed. There's many different crawlers actually, but all that Drop Point is doing is crawling Facebook to grab all of the ads and it displays them in a nice, neat fashion so you can find what is working well. So let's jump into an old favorite drop point. So it's nice on drop point. They don't have as many products on the homepage. You just get two and you can scroll down. This is just the live advertisement filter. So they're taking ads from Facebook and then you can have a look, which kind of gives you a good indicator into products. It's a bit of a different angle from something like Jungle Scout, which is like really laser focused surgical analysis. This is like more of an inspiration. Like you can just sort of scroll through here, have a general feel for what's being sold, what's popular, but it is a bit less targeted. You know, right now I'm getting Western Union ads. Like maybe I could learn something from them, but it's a bit out of my niche. It's even in French. So it's kind of completely out of where I'm at. So if you go check out the winning ads, there's a pro section at the top, but if you just scroll down, you can see some free stuff as well. Same sort of thing here. If you click any of these, you just jump onto Facebook and then you can jump into the stores as well. Sometimes you can see the store in the ad copy and then you can go and have a look at the actual shop and you can learn a bit about how that product is being marketed, read the copy and see how people are doing things. Then they also have Winning Alley products. These are all locked at the top, but then once you scroll down, you can actually see things that are doing really well. I personally like Thieve for this sort of thing, and I did a video on that last week. Drop Point also is great, so yeah. Okay, and then we have Glorify. I already said how Adobe Creative Cloud is quite expensive. This is another great alternative. It's got a logo builder that is on par with Photoshop. For our purposes, it's really, really great. I mean, of course it's not Photoshop, but for drop shipping, really great tool. Also the templates on this logo builder are genius. If you are lacking inspiration, I would first and foremost recommend you get out a pen and paper and just try and draw some logos. But after you've tried that, I would jump on to Glorify and have a look at building your own logo. This isn't really a product research tool, but I wanted to include it here because once you've found your product, you're gonna need to jazz it up. You can't just be doing what most people do, which is just taking the photos from AliExpress and putting them on the Shopify stores. I mean, you, you can get a free trial here for 14 days and I would really recommend jumping in and making your own creatives. So let's have a look at story posts. If you're not a graphic designer like me, I'm not a graphic designer. There's so much to learn about the psychology of graphics, of design itself and aesthetics. But if you don't really have that time to invest in learning that craft, then you can just use these sorts of templates. Perfect for a beginner. They already come set to size for Instagram and Facebook stories. And they're kind of product targeted. Like look at all of these things here, watch, oven equipment, face wash, cameras. It's all very much product focused already. I'd probably grab something like this. So once you've found a template that you like, just hit open bundle, and then you can have a look at all of the styles that are in this template. And you can use them across the board. You can use them on your highlights, on your story, uh, maybe in an email marketing chain or even on your store and they all match, which is pretty cool. So I hope this is inspiring. There's so much to be used here and it's all pre-sized and pre-designed. Of course, you could change the colors to be congruent with your brand and you'll be away and laughing. This is a quite an in-depth tool for logo design as well. Right here, you've got things like stories and ads, email marketing, templates, but you could also go back to basics and build out a logo. Just go to the top toolbox, you'll find Logo Maker, and then you can jump right in. I personally am always gonna recommend my notebook, which is right here. Personally, always gonna recommend this. Just classic old piece of paper and start drawing but you're gonna to need to export whatever you make into a PNG for Shopify anyway. So you could also use Glorify Logo Editor for that. 
And if you haven't seen our live video already, we just released our first live video and it went really, really well. I'll be making one of these once a month. So feel free to prepare any questions you have and come to the live video to be a full Q&A and I'll have plenty of time to answer all of your questions. And on another note, the Beautify 3.0 update has just been released this week. An exceptional update with so many new features and a ton of new add-ons, which are my favorite part of Debutify. So if you haven't got Debutify already, feel free to swing on over to our website, Debutify.com, and download it if you want to upgrade your theme. Anyway, thank you for watching. This has been great. Take it easy.